day three of the prolong fasting program was but one mistake after another mistake made by me and of course it made it a miserable day the first mistake I did was originally I scheduled to have the doctor's appointment and then do my intensive strength on Friday and then start the prolonged program but I was eager and I rescheduled my last day so that it'd be Monday and I started fasting on Monday and I went to the doctor while on the fast which was my mistake and I'll put a link to to my schedule which I did video the schedule so I went to the doctor and I saw his nurse first and she said I need to be in a new job a new drug Repatha I didn't know it then but I looked it up at GoodRx 519 a month 1500 for three months from good rx so but she goes to me and says you need to take a shot i never heard for you ldl i never heard of that so i went into i never heard of it i went to shock a shot twice a month i said why because your LDL is high and and you got to understand my mind is I'm fasting my mind is sharp as can be I'm looking for that saber-toothed tiger because I'm hungry and I'm ready to hunt that saber-toothed tiger down so my mind flashes this to myself this is a profile of a 70 year old and notice as an LDL level goes down your death rate goes up so I'm saying to myself she's telling me to take this shot to lower my LDL level and it's going to shorten my life the lower she brings my LDL level, the higher my death rate is for people over 70 year old. That's true. And the reason is that, I don't know all the reason, I really don't. But I do know that LDL delivers material to immune system. And your immune system is building material that the LDL brings to it. And if there's low LDL, there's low immune system. And people keep saying, that the old people are dying because their immunity system isn't any good. I don't know. So, I go to her and say, now why are you giving me this to take this shot? She says, because your LDL level is high. I said, but you took no blood test. It's your February blood test. And your LDL level I'm not sure if she said total cholesterol or she said the LDL, I just don't remember. It's 179. And I said, but you know, I took intensive physical workout to bring aspects of that under control. I've lost 40 pounds and I've given up all sugar and all processed carbohydrates. I said, we don't know what my LDL level is. I told her, I said, I am not taking these two shots without a blood test. So she gave me a prescription to take a blood test to see my makeup of my LDL. Having high LDL is in bed. You got to know there's two types of LDLs. There's dense LDLs and fluffy LDLs. 
Dance and LDL is bad for you. Fluffy are very good for you. So if they, they if they're gonna give me to take fifteen hundred dollars for three dollar for three months of shots to lower my L, LDL, hey, the prolonged fasting program is cheap. It's cheap compared to that. Anyway. <laughs> and my day three, day three it goes up. I, don't, I didn't need it. So she gave me a prescription for she gave me a prescription for taking LDL test. So I had the prescription prescription with me and I went to Quest Diagnostic not to do the test because it was already afternoon and I already had the alba and just to find the detail but they were too crowded and too crowded I, I couldn't talk to anybody and my body is running low on energy so I uh, started going home but I have to give somebody a, a birthday gift today so I stopped to do a birthday gift and then I got home. And suddenly my body says, you're famished. So remember I, I said I was going to do half the crackers for lunch and half the crackers for, for uh, dinner? Well, I started eating the crackers and I started cooking my soup and then I went ahead and uh, finished the crackers and I finished the soup and I was still hungry I used up a lot of energy and I did an unexpected thing and the rest of the day I felt kind of I felt kind of weak you know I was hoping to say I'm, I, I wouldn't feel weak, but it was too much of emotional stress on me and to make up for it. And now I'm going to have to run, run around today with this prescription that you gave me to take the blood draw. But one more thing, she didn't get the result she was hoping, so she sent in the doctor talk to me so I spoke to the doctor and he said he wanted to check my my neck so he checked my neck and this is what he says all I could do is hear this but this is your artery and this is your brain and we need to check your whole your whole neck to see if you got any clogs. And I said to him, I'm, do, I'm doing no evasive procedure. I said, it's not an evasive, it's, they're gonna run gel on me and ultrasonic look at it and see if there's any arteries on it, any, any, any clog, clog and, uh, clogs and arteries. And I, I agree to it, you know. So now I'll have to... I'll have to do that. So, checked out. 12 o'clock. Uh, before 12 o'clock on, on uh, August the 12th, I'm supposed to get this test and... August the 18th, the nurse is going to, need, going to call me up about the LDL test that I'm going to take. Oh, it was, it was a tough day. I never should have scheduled the doctor's appointment. Never should have scheduled the doctor's appointment for when I'm fasting. Ah, one more thing. We talk about the fast. We did talk about the fast. And he said, nah. You, you don't need, you don't need to do the fast, this program. You don't need the program. 
I said, well, it's going to be FDA approved one day. It'll never be FDA approved. Uh, well, you know, the guy's been doing research, developed this program. They use it for cancer, for, they use it for Alzheimer's, they use it for uh, diabetes. Nope. You could, do, you could do it on your own. You don't need uh, fast. Well, for one thing, he told me I could do it on my own, which is good for me. And uh, and so I'm going to uh, continue with the fast. He did said he did talk about autophagy, and that's where your body goes and gets do your body your body is in search for protein, and it, wherever you can find anything that is not normal, it'll go to that protein, extract it from the cell disassemble it for components it needs and send the rest as waste and just so that's all blood cells that are old and need to be retired bacteria funguses moles anything like that it says it's not normal in 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 the system I'm gonna break it up and take the protein because I need protein so I am gonna put a link to a video that I like on opatogy so you guys can see what me and him were talking about now I'm going to make the tape for for the fourth